Good morning, everybody. Well, I want to start off with something. But with my, with my pigs today, good morning, Penrod, Sam. How are you guys doing? Doing good. So uh, my kid, my oldest, Eli, did all the chores this morning. I've been suffering migraines for the la this whole week, so I haven't really made any videos. I haven't really done too much of anything. So, but I want to start with showing you guys that my pigs have started rooting. It's really not that bad, actually. It's just the grass. The pigs have pulled up the grass, but they're not digging yet. But there's something right around this area they really like that's in the ground. And they have kind of tore it up that bad in my opinion. It's, it's just the grass. And grass always grows back. They're not digging, you know. They're not digging holes. They're not, you know, they're not doing this. But this is what I made. I made that hole for them to lay in. And, uh, Penrod, stop. Stop that. What do you want? A back rub? Is that what you want? You too? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so, uh, if you had any doubts or any questions about what they do to your land, then this is it. So far, like I said, it's just pulling up the grass. They haven't, they're not moving dirt, so I'm really not that worried about it yet. But it could be a completely different story next year when they're much bigger. But we'll see. Like I said, like I said, it's just grass. They're just pulling up the grass. All I would have to do is reseed it and it's covered up. It's only this spot, like I said, it's only just right here. There's something in this ground right here that they like. And I don't know, it's probably, they might be over it. They might have got whatever they needed because they're not doing it to anywhere else. I mean, they do those little pokes in here like that. Yeah little stabs in the dirt with their noses they make little little noise ruts like that but that's the worst they've ever done right there so yeah it's kind of weird just must be something in that dirt that they like right there my malabar spinach these are the survivors a new one just popped up which is great because i've lost a few I lost uh, five of them so far, but if these few grow for the rest of the growing season, hopefully they go to seed and they produce something for me. Planted a little tomato right there. Grapes are doing fine being destroyed by those darn Japanese beetles. Make a real quick walk and see if there's any there's two right there. Oh, they just, they're so sneaky. Peas are doing good. My first pea is right there. Coming up. Oh, there's a bunch of them actually. So, yeah, these are doing fine. Except, like I said, this corner got destroyed a little bit. By whatever was eating it. But the rest of them are doing good. Still just waiting on my potatoes. I need to get to harvesting my beans. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer for them to turn just a little bit more yellow. They're supposed to pick them, they say, when the beans get a nice, like, yellowish color. That's not quite nice yet. We had a huge rainstorm come in yesterday, so this thing has just been beat down to the ground. So today they should perk back up. So like I said, I'm just waiting for them to turn just a little bit more yellow, then I'll start harvesting them. My basil still suck, except for my purple basil. They're doing great and they taste fantastic. I never had purple basil before, but they're good. Yeah. All my kales died off except for one. It's the only one that's just jamming. All the rest, they just kept on getting eaten by something. I don't know what it was, but they left that one alone. My sweet potatoes are starting to vine out. 
Fantastic. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna bury part of the vine and see what happens. See if we get a sweet potato right there or not. Uh, these are the last ones I planted a couple weeks ago, so they're struggling just a little bit, but you know they're starting to grow. Like I said, they're all starting to vine out and grow, so that's good. Check it out, my first eggplant. I gotta get this trellised up so it doesn't break on me. There has been very little flea beetle activity on this plant. They love this one though. They will not leave this one alone, but it's been raining a lot lately, so I haven't really been doing any of the spray because it just gets washed off. You know, so I'm just kind of letting it go. That's weird. It seems like they like this, uh, the black beauty type, better than the Japanese eggplant. So maybe if you're into eggplant, get the Japanese ones because they don't eat that as much as the black beauty ones. Our peppers are starting to kick in. They're you know, starting to grow taller, and that is, which is nice. That's what you want. And they're starting to flower. Bell peppers are starting to grow, except for back here. They're not doing so well, but these are. And uh, I know they're in the shade, but they'll get they'll get the sun eventually. It's uh, a little after 11 right now, and my potatoes and the onions get the first sun right around 10 o'clock. Around 10.30, 11 o'clock, it still starts going, and then about, I say about noon, my beans are in full sun and my tomatoes are in full sun. And yeah, from that on to about 5.30, they have full sun, so. Five and a half hours. If I cut that big oak tree down, they'll get six hours of sun. <laughs> but my tomatoes are just jamming. I got a bunch of tomatoes coming on. Just, just coming on, so. Yeah, something came in and ate a few of them. I've been getting some hornworms. My son and I early in the morning come in and do a hornworm check every morning. So he's been helping me out in the garden. But that looks nice. I can't wait till I see that de develop. Give them a little shake. Oh, the flowers are falling off. Give them a little tap. Give them a little shake, a little tap. A little shake, a little tap. I snapped that one a couple days ago when I was suckering. And it survived. So I'm just kind of really watching that one. But look, that looks beautiful. A lot of tomatoes coming up, a lot of cherry tomatoes. My, uh, damn, what are those called? Uh, Golden Jubilee tomatoes are coming in real nicely. Give those a little shake. Give those a little shake and just shake the whole dang thing. The Juliets are forming nicely right there. Yeah, they're coming in real nicely. Hopefully I'm getting the right angles on that for you guys to see. Give that a little tap. And then I've got the pink girls here and they're coming in real nicely. Give that one a little shake. Yeah, these are big boys now. And they're doing... They're not doing as well as the ones up front because they get the earlier sun. But, you know, they're, you can see they're producing tomatoes. Yep, and look at my cucumbers. Whew, they're, they're starting to really take off. This, what, what's wrong with this one? Oh, nothing. It's still climbing. Oh, this one fell off. Let me put you guys down for a sec. Alright, just, you know, just gotta help them out just a little bit. Let's get them climbing. Got a few cu cucumbers. I ate one yesterday. The boys and I got the first Got to eat the first cucumber. It was a little bigger than this one. It was like that, which was nice. And I got a whole bunch more, just all these flowers are coming on. More cucumbers are just 
being developed, but they are climbing, which is nice. Ooh. Let's help this one back up. Tuck it behind something. Help it wrap it around a little bit. That gets them going on uh, twirling around sticks so they help them climb. Only problem with uh, kind of letting the cucumbers grow just wherever they want. It's hard to uh, cut the suckers off. You really got to pay attention to which ones the suckers and which ones aren't. That's if you sucker cucumbers. I never used to. I never used to sucker cucumbers. I just let it go. Uh, but oh, move your t tail, buddy. Hey, the butts in the butt video. But yeah, uh, but did you know if you cut suckers off and put it in water, you could also make them root and have new plants. But it takes a while, and it's, uh, it's already so late in the season with cucumbers. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, uh, I don't think I'm going to sucker my cucumbers, really. Uh, I'm just going to let it go, naturally. Uh, i got ants in my, all my flowers. But yeah, it's uh, they're jamming. Like I said, they're producing cucumbers. Doing real nice. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, I had a total bummer yesterday with this uh, one tomato plant. It was doing nice, it was doing nice, and then I noticed a sucker, and I was, as I was suckering, I accidentally moved my finger and I snapped the top right off. It, I, I took at least a foot off of this plant. It was, oh, I'm hoping it does something. I don't know, it's probably too late for this plant. It, it had the first, I, I knocked off the leader, basically, and they had the first cluster of flowers and <laughs> yeah, I feel terrible. I ho I'm hoping the sucker will grow back now since I've been suckering they, none of them has been growing back. So this plant, might, this tomato might, might be done for. It was just oh, such a bummer. A friend of ours that have, uh, that buy eggs from us had dwarf tomatoes. I'm not really sure what variety is. All I know is that they're dwarf and she gave us to us last week and I put, put them in the ground. And they're starting to flower right now. So thank you for these tomatoes. I'm really eager to see what they turn out to be because I've never had dwarf uh, tomatoes before. So, and I'm not really, really sure if, if I was supposed to put them in the ground or put them in pots. Because all I've seen with dwarf varieties, they've always been in pots. And you, if you put it in the ground, do they end up becoming regular tomatoes? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> this tomato sucker that I planted right here is struggling, but it's growing. Yeah, so my garden is coming along. I've got my zucchini growing in pots this year. Uh, it's just in my garden. The zucchini does not do well in my garden, I found out last year. So I'm gonna put it here because it gets the most sun and zucchini like a lot of sun. So I kind of planted it late, but it's, it's, it's doing its thing. I'll, I'll get a couple of zucchinis out of this this year. Hopefully the pot doesn't uh, get overheat and kills the plant. It kind of tends to do that. If flower pots stay in too much sun, it just gets too hot and the plants just do not do well. So. I'm always constantly putting water in there to keep it cool. I think I'm gonna end up wrapping up this video. Uh, I've still got a huge migraine, and uh, so it's getting super bright out there. It, it was really cloudy, so that's so why I started making this video, but now it's getting super sunny, and it's, my eyes are really, wants to jump out of my skull. But uh, I wanna end this video with uh, showing you my new chicks that I, that mama bird hatched out. She hatched out five new babies. Hey, mama. So yeah. Oh, look at that. Huh? And yeah. Can we see? Can we see the babies, mama? There they are. New life on the farm. They're probably all roosters, but oh well. 
Hopefully I get one hen out of it and I'll be fine. There's five of them. I, I know you can't see anything and I don't want to try to reach for it for them because she'll kill me. There's four. Where's the fifth one? Oh, where's the fifth one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the fifth one? Okay, okay, but you guys just gotta take my word for it. There's five of them. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, there it is. There's the fifth one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. All right. My name is Sang. This is Growing Little Country Homestead. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next 